so today we will discuss about the pipe wall thickness calculation in my previous videos I have explained how to do the line sizing and uh, to get the idea of what should be the pipe thickness based on the internal pressure of the process fluid so normally this calculation is done by the piping engineer but it is good to have the idea of uh, piping thickness that how much it would be based on that by referring to ASME B31.3 standard you can check what schedule of the pipe is required based on the thickness calculation so you can have a clear idea that uh, how the complete pipes uh, piping uh, size calculation and its thickness calculation is performed so let's say we have a pipe which have id and the thickness is t okay and od of this pipe which is from here to here is do right so thickness formula says t which is pi internal pressure do this is outer diameter divided by 2 into s into e plus pi into y this is an fps unit so pi in psig and do is in inch and uh, then this is also in psig and this is also in psig so this thickness comes in inches okay so pi is internal di uh, design pressure which is in psig if you put in this equation do is outside pipe diameter it is also is in, in inches e is the actually it is uh, welding efficiency or the joint efficiency for seamless pipe which where we don't have any weld or anything so you can use e value is one and for welded pipe which is not a seamless pipe you can use e value 0.85 s is maximum allowable stress as per a ansi b 31.3 which is equal to yield stress into 0 0.60 it uh, means uh, the maximum level stress for this thickness calculation the piping engineer consider from 65 percent of yield stress to 60 60 percent or 65 percent of yield stress this value you can get from the nsi b31.3 for a selection of uh, based on the material of the pipe you have you are using and why is it temperature factor up to 482 degree centigrade for a ferrous material you can use 0.4 value for this so once you calculate by uh, putting these all values into this above equation you get a thickness in inches but that's not an actual thickness in actual thickness uh, actual thickness you need to add corrosion allowance and mechanical mechanical strength allowance or threaded allowances and this corrosion allowance is normally considered as minimum 0.3 mm rest it based on the corrosion uh, study based on that it can go further high so msa is a mechanical strength allowance right stress analysis of piping so now before talking about this stress analysis so now you know the thickness of the pipe so based on this thickness value calculated thickness value you can check uh, in asme ansi b31.3 the schedule required for the piping okay pipe schedule like 40 80 120 40 standard or a standard schedule something like that okay so many times actually piping engineers ask us which piping stress is required so some of the piping I mean, well, the process engineer is uh, find out some of the critical lines like uh, bdb tailpipe like uh, psv discharge line so means where the velocity is like uh, in a ratio of some fraction of like a mac velocity so we need a stress analysis for those piping sections okay but there are other criteria for also to see the stress analysis of the piping is required or not so it is given by 
API 14e if, if you have this this is the formula d into delta l divided by l minus u to the whole square if this is less, less than 0 0.03 then you need a uh, stress analysis of a piping and normally all the piping in the industry are supported by some of the anchors or the su piping support we call it so this u is the supported span length of a pipe see let's say the pipe is having a length l and they have uh, piping has provided support in a pipe across a pipe length so the the distance between two support is u straight line so this is anchor distance this is anchor distance in fit a straight line distance between the anchors or support and this is the nominal diameter in inches like one inch uh, pipe nominal diameter is 25 mm so similarly for other right so l is the actual pipe length in feet and delta l is a expansion to be absorbed by pipe in inches expansion means how if it is supported at two place so how it will expand either this way or this way okay so this is from like this so this is this length actually so expansion to be absorbed by pipe is in inches now this delta l can be calculated by this formula 12 into l into alpha into delta t where uh, where alpha is a because the other factor this is actual length of pipe and and this delta t is the maximum temperature change right so this you know the only thing is alpha which is the mean or coefficient of thermal expansion because when the pipe the the fluid is flowing through the pipe and the temperature variation is there in the pipe so at that time it will have uh, the pipe will have thermal expansion because of that thermal expansion pipe may expand like this or like this okay so either way so this value is around 7 into 10 to the power minus 6 inches per inch per degree Fahrenheit for carbon steel for exact value of other material you can see this standard so delta t is the temperature change in degree fahrenheit if there is a temperature change right so temperature change you can consider like if there is a fluid inside this and it is temperature is 100 degrees centigrade and the outside temperature let's say in 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 um, winter it is 0 degree centigrade so temp delta t is 100 degree centigrade so accordingly this delta t is in temperature change in degree fahrenheit for this formula so so here if you put all these values in this formula and if it is coming less than 0 0.03 then stress analysis of the pipe section is required if if not then not required there is some other rules also that when stress analysis of pipe is not required if delta t maximum is less than equal to 50 degree fahrenheit then not required or if the delta t maximum is less than equal to 75 degree fahrenheit provided that the distance between the two turns exceeds 12 normal pipe size let's say there is a first turn then this one then this then then so this 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 so this which distance from here to here here to here it should not exceed from 12 um 12 normal pipe sizes so according to this you can see whether the stress analysis is required or not this is not a firm idea about this but for a process engineer to know this much is good enough right process engineer need not to go in detail for a stress analysis calculation because this is a work of piping engineer in a uh, design industry so hope you got a idea of pipe wall thickness calculation and the stress analysis requirements thanks